video, we're going to have a look at an easy way to put together uh, custom queries using the custom query builder inside Oxygen. So here I have an easy post and in the easy post under the query, I've had headed over to advanced and now I'm going to edit query and you'll see that I've selected the post type of product and then under the taxonomy query, the relationship of and and then We've built the array with the, the taxonomy, which is product cat for product category. We've gone for the field slug. The terms then would be the slug. So in this case, decor and the operator in. So that's the query that I've used for this particular post. And then, of course, it outputs the decor item. Now, if I wanted to, say, include hoodies with this, I would then edit my query. I'd add another value here and I would say also include hoodies close the parameters and then apply that query and then you would see that hoodies are now also included in the easy posts and there are the hoodies right now to create this query it looks quite complicated but there is an easier way of breaking it down and then looking into it so what I'm going to do is if you head over to a website called Crocoblock, and on the Crocoblock website, they have a WP query generator. And what's really nice about this is that, for example, here we're doing a taxonomy query. It's asking us the same questions. I'm simply filling in the answer. So when I select relation, I say and, which is what I had. Then I've got to enter the taxonomy. So you do need to understand what a taxonomy is in order to know if it's a product category or a product tag maybe you want to look at um, some custom taxonomies then it's the field and the field can only then be one of these four and we've gone for slug here we enter the taxonomy terms so um, we didn't go for beanie but um, this is where you'd enter the terms like we we had decor and we also had hoodies and you'll see now that the terms are then completed automatically here and then the operator you have a choice of in not in and exists or not exists now the nice thing now is that here we have the breakdown of the taxonomy uh, query that we're doing inside the advanced query from oxygen builder so if I now go back and compare that so we started with the post type of product we don't we have a post type here of post so what we would do then is go to post and we would enter the post type not sure where it is in this builder but um, let's just get back here so we know that the post type is going to be product so we've entered um, product and then we have a look at the taxonomy query which is where the complicated bit really starts so we have the relation which is and and then we have the array now if I look here under add value I've only got the choice of an array or a relation. So already when you're doing the taxonomy query, you're getting a clue as to what information is required. So if I was to rebuild this now, knowing what I know, so the first thing I would do then is head over to the query generator and I see uh, that the relation that we've built here is the relation and. So what I'll do in this case is I'm going to head over here then, add a value, and I'm going to go with the relation of and. So it must be post type of product and. It must also conform to the following, and that'll be the array. Now, in order to know what to input, uh, we already have clues here in the dropdown. So we can see already here that we need to enter taxonomy. I head over here to the query and I see, okay, taxonomy, in this case it's product cat because we want the product categories. The next one that we're going to do now is we need to enter the field. So what field are we going to use for the terms? So the field that we're going to use then, in this case, will be slug. And as we saw here, we could of course have used the name, the term ID, or the term taxonomy ID. So in our case, though, the slug will work really well. The next thing that we need to look at then would be the, the terms, the taxonomy terms. So we'll head back here 
to the oxygen builder we'll add a field and we're going to look here for terms and you'll see here that because it's an array similar to this array that we created yeah each time you add a term you would add a new block so in our case it's decor and we wanted hoodies and now we need to add an, the last value and the last value here is going to be the operator and the operator says it's in it's not in so is the term hoodies or decor um, in the terms assigned to that product if it is then list the products and then here we're going to go to the operator and we're going to put in in so now we know that we're going to get all the products that are in the categories decor and hoodie so close that and then i would simply apply the parameter to test if that's working properly what i can also do is head over and then just quite easily say not in and how should that be written simply look at the the drop down and you'll see here that this is what it should look like you can even copy that from there and then head over here paste in the not in close the query and then apply the parameters and now everything that's not in the hoodies or decor is going to be lifted is going to be listed the other i mean it's really now up to you to to build out the query that you want you can also use the custom query inside um, the query facility for easy post but if you want to do something more advanced this is the place to come to now we're going to add another one which is going to be post per page because maybe we don't want all the posts to show so let's go with um, post per page and in this case i'm just going to choose the value of two and the reason for that is just to highlight how that works so if i close there you'll see we have several terms i'm now going to apply the query parameter and you'll see now that only two terms are displayed so that would be how we would go about then creating the query that we want and then not only creating but also how many posts we'd like in the output so here maybe i'm going to go for three or let's make it four i can close the window here i can apply the query parameter and there I have the four posts that I requested. So that's one quick and easy way to learn how to build those queries. And if you're not sure what the terms mean or what information is needed, this is a great place to come to get the outline. And you can literally then reproduce this layout with the different items inside the advanced query. So this just looks at how to build the product query. And we'll look at some more advanced queries in uh, future tutorials so hope you enjoy that video and thank you for watching